Welcome to my channel. If you are coming back to my channel, thank you so much for the love and support. I truly appreciate it. If you are new here, thank you so much for clicking through my video for that is our today's episode. So together with uh, NT, we've been doing some some touring of this place that is uh, Mount Elgon. And we still have some other episodes covered uh, here, here on my channel and the others are on NT's channel. So, if you haven't watched the previous episode, that's an episode from episode 1 to episode 6, you can go to his channel, that is a Nairobi teacher's channel, go watch him, or, uh, go watch the other episodes, and then uh, some of them are still on my channel. So guys, this is episode 7, we are still in the forest, that is in Mount Elgon, and uh, we are in a different homestead, so today, in this episode, I just want to cover... Um, Maybe I want to focus mainly on the culture of the Dorobos. I want to focus mostly on the women. Yeah, because yeah, I'm a woman, so I want to know more about how women live in this culture. And with me here, I have an elder lady. Um, maybe she can just say greet you, but in Kiswahili, yeah. So from here, I'll be doing the interview in Kiswahili. Then uh, maybe I'll translate later on. So, ma'am. Yeah. So, community, We raise them together, but uh, girls and boys they sleep differently. So the separation begins at the age of 12, that is when our boys sleep in their own house and the girls they sleep in different houses because uh, they are now considered to be adults. I also had to ask at what age are girls allowed to get married and uh, she told me that uh, girls can, be, can start getting married at the age of 18 However, sometimes they can delay up to 22 or 24 years, but mostly it's at the age of 18. Mama, ni kwa nini? Ni kwa nini wasichana wanalala kando na wavulana wanalala kando? Mbona wasilale pamoja? And this lady here, she told us that uh, she doesn't know why it's just because of uh, the culture she was born into this culture she found it that way so they have to keep the culture the way they have found it they just said boys in their houses and the girls they should also have their own houses but a husband and a wife can share the same house. It's only the children who get uh, separated. That is basing on their genders. Maybe the man over here, he can help us. Like, I know it uh, if he knows the reason why that separation is done. And he told us that um, it's because the, because the other children are men and the others are female. So that is why they have to be separated because at that age, they are considered to be adults. They are almost mature enough to get married, so they cannot be allowed to sleep in one room. But below seven years, it's okay. We can sleep with the kids in the same house. I also had to ask if uh, in their raising up uh, the kids, like, do they have specific jobs for the girls and boys? But she told me, no, all jobs are shared. Boys can clean, boys can sweep. Like, basically, there's no like, um, uh, specific jobs for boys and girls. All of them 
can do whichever work is available in the house. I also needed to know if um, before marriage one is allowed to choose for himself or herself the marriage partner but she said no you can choose for yourself and she also added that uh, she also chose chose for herself was your marriage hmm. partner chosen for you and she said no. mm. she, she, she <laughs> <laughs> that culture of uh, choosing marriage partners for children oh. ended a long time ago because for me i chose for myself even for my sister she decided her marriage partner by herself I also wanted to know if um, one is allowed to marry outside the Dorobo community. And she told me that uh, one can be allowed to marry from any community it is allowed. However, uh, sometimes if maybe your parents doesn't like their, uh, a certain homestead, then you, you will not be allowed to marry into that homestead and you will have to now get out whether you like it or not. <laughs> Even if you don't want to get out, out of that homestead, you just have to. Like it's a must because it's culture. Sasa mimi niteseke tu na mapenzi juu mama na baba wamekataa. Labda roho imetaka huko. Na sasa and he was laughing because uh, like wow. one can just suffer because of love uh, and because of the parents have refused you to marry from a certain homestead. Which is really sad. No? Before marriage, a little ceremony is done. Uh, you can decide for yourself what kind of celebration you want to be done for you. That is, if you're the one who is getting married. And um, that ceremony, uh, first of all, it's done at the girl's home. Then after that, it's also done in the boy's home. That is, the groom's uh, home. Then after that, you can now go start your married life. Hiyo ni ile ya kanisa ama yenye ya traditional ya kanisa. Hakuna ya kienyeji. Na unajua watu walikuwa wanafanya huku kuna kani kama hata watu hatawajui mambo ya Mungu. Si mimi nimekuambia tukikuja tulikuwaende shule. So he lit it and so ah, and see sisi tukikuja tulikuwa tunangoja tuone watu wenye wako na manyoa kwa mwili ngozi wamevaa ngozi we had the way to think that uh, these people living in this mountain region they are very hairy and, and hata mzee ametuambia hapo awali hata yeye alivaa oh hata oliva they just ilikuwa ni ngozi ya ngombe actually we were not just told but we saw for ourselves they just not people like us who wear clothes however a long time ago they used to wear skin um, that is this lady here and the old man sitting down there. Yeah, when they were still young, they wore those skin, and the skin, not just the skin, but the hides. They wore hides from the sheep and the goat, but mostly it was from the goat. And the way to clean it was by applying cream from the milk. And that cream was made. Uh, you take a... You ferment milk, you put it above the fireplace. After three days, you remove the cream. So that cream is the one that was used to be applied on the hides from the goat. You shake it, then remove the cream, you apply on your skin. So that is how they used to clean the skin, are the hides from the goat or sheep. If you're wondering which body all they used, it's the same, same, same cream from the cow's milk that they used to apply on their body. And the girls, they used to shave their hair. There was no plating back in the days. But right now, they do plating, though very few. I was surprised to know that uh, they just used a razor blade. You know, for me, I thought that maybe the razor blade came a long time ago, it was there. That is what they used to shave their hair with.
So the old man had to tell us that uh, right now things have really changed, but du during his time when he was still young, the boys and the girls had uh, specific jobs. Like uh, the women or the girls, they used to spend their time with the older women and learn how to okay. make or to sew those uh, hides and skins that were used as clothes. And then for the boys, they used to go out with the men to hunt or... Um, to look after the livestock uh, that belongs to the community. So that is what used to happen a long time ago. But right now, things have changed. And then uh, before marriage, he says that um, when he was still young, the men at the age of uh, 25 or 30, that is when they started looking for for a wife. And what used to happen is that um, if you had a girl at your home, Men could come to your home, or that is, uh, the people who want to marry your daughter, they could come, even like uh, five men, they, they come to your homestead, and each man has tobacco. So you as the man, or you, or you as the parents of that girl, whoever you choose from those five men, you eat their tobacco. And if your tobacco is eaten, you definitely know that uh, the parents have liked you and they have accepted to give out their daughter for marriage to your son. So that is how uh, I can say maybe that was the kind of uh, proposal that used to be done when this old man here was still a boy. Basically, what he's trying to say is that uh, the five men, they come with five tombacos. Then you choose one tobacco from one person. You eat it, and then you tell that uh, the owner of the tobacco that you have given out there, daughter to their son. Then the marriage ceremony can now start after that. Currently, things have changed because some of our children have gone to school, so that is why uh, they get married into church. However, there is one tradition that has not been forgotten, that is uh, if the parents don't like a certain homestead, they cannot allow their daughter to get married to that homestead, so that people still hold on to that. And that is our culture. Wow. Okay, so guys, um, I think I'll wrap it up for this episode. Um, you can still uh, get more of this content on our next episode that is uh, on, on uh, NT's channel. You can go check it out on Rib Teacher's channel for continuation of this story uh, on culture and more and more concerning this community that is uh, the Dorobo people. So, see you in my next video.